Well, we all know that the COVID-19 pandemic has had a major effect on the restaurant industry. And joining me now is Marshall Weston Jr. He is the president and CEO of the Maryland Restaurant Association. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. So I want to just start out by asking you to tell us more about the impact of the pandemic on Maryland restaurants just as a whole. Like many small businesses, uh, restaurants are the backbone of every community here in Maryland. And this pandemic has really put a financial stress on all restaurants because people just aren't dining out as frequently as they used to. There are also dining restrictions in place and everything else that kind of goes along with this pandemic just really has people a little on edge about uh, going out as regularly as they used to. And over time, this has really hurt restaurants. We are projecting that if things don't change soon, by the end of this year, upwards of 40% of all the restaurants in the state of Maryland could close permanently. Mm. That is horrible to hear. I mean, I think we understand why it's happening, but it is, you know, just, it, it sounds it's devastating for our economy and for our local business owners. And it, it's just a horrible outlook. What does the future look like for Maryland's restaurant industry if we intervene, if we, if we do a little bit more? Well, what I think we've already learned is that many restaurants couldn't get through the past six months and have closed permanently. So we're going to see fewer restaurants um, out there for us in the immediate near future. But we've also learned that restaurants have a uh, change the way that they've done business. Restaurants that don't normally offer carry out or curbside have figured out ways to do so, so that people continue to patronize them and they, uh, they do so in a way that they feel safe. But really when it comes down to it, restaurants need people to dine out regularly, to support them regularly. And uh, in order to do that, we need an increase in uh, consumer confidence. So the outlook is uh, going to be tough as long as consumers are unwilling to go out as regularly as they used to. But there is a way that we can help right now, stay safe, support our local businesses, our local restaurants as well, because there's a new effort for a Maryland, statewide Maryland Restaurant Week. Is that correct? Yes, uh, the Restaurant Association of Maryland partnered with uh, Visit Maryland and their uh, Maryland Office of Tourism to bring uh, Maryland Restaurant Week. It's the first statewide restaurant week that we've ever had. And I think that most uh, everyone has had or has seen a local restaurant week, either in their county or city or local jurisdiction. And we know that we all love deals and specials and things that happen during these restaurant weeks. So we thought it would be best to remind everyone throughout the entire state that restaurants are still here. They're ready to serve they're ready to do so safely, and they really need your support to get through this pandemic. And that is why this Maryland Restaurant Week is so important for all of us to participate in, just to keep these small businesses running. And even if you don't feel comfortable dining in, many, if not all, are doing carry out or curbside specials as well. So whatever suits your needs, uh, Maryland Restaurant Week will have a restaurant that can uh, meet them. And this is starting tomorrow, September 18th, and it runs through the 27th. Where can we go to find out the participating restaurants, start making our list of all the places that we want to order in and, and pick up from? You can search by county at MarylandRestaurantWeek.com, and you can find different cuisines on there as well. So you can start to make that list. And it's important to remember that this restaurant week is a little different than some of the others in that there's no fixed menu that a restaurant has to abide by, and there's uh, no requirement on their end. This way, we're able to have every segment of the industry participate, whether it be a small breakfast diner, a fast casual, fine dining, family dining, all segments are going to be able to participate. So I'm really looking forward to where I'm going to go to breakfast first thing on Friday, September 18th. Absolutely. I think we all are. I, I love when I can make a whole list of places I'm going to eat and know that it's not just helping myself, but helping other people. But definitely wearing the stretchy pants for this week. <laughs> Thank you so much, Marshall Weston Jr. Really appreciate it. And we'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned.